Welcome back sa Cure, mga kaibigan. Usapang dengue pa rin tayo, Dok. So, kanina napag-usapan na natin yung mga usual signs and symptoms ng dengue infection. Doktora, uh, meron pa bang ibang mga simptomas na dapat bantayan ng isang pasyente na nagkaroon ng dengue? Yeah, aside from the uh, flow-like symptoms or trangkaso-like symptoms, ang binabantayan mo dito ay kung, uh, for example, yung anak mo ay parang tulog ng tulog, nangihina, nagbabamit, diba? nagsusuka, sumasakit ang tiyan, tapos nakikita mo siya na uh, nilalagnat pa rin for so many days, and then ang uh, kung minsan nga kinukonvulsion pa, kinukonvulsion pa sila, diba? and titignan mo kung... Uh, Tuloy-tuloy ang pagsakit ng tiyan, for example, titignan mo din kung baka yung dumi nila, kung anong kulay, kasi baka mamaya dinudugo na yung anak mo, di ba? Others, meron silang uh, nagdudugo yung ilong, o kaya yung gum, gilagid, gum, o, bleed, gum, gum bleeding. bleeding. So, yun rashes, ang mga doctor. signs. Yeah, rashes. Those are signs that uh, ito, warning signs na to. If not, ito ay talagang very serious uh, dengue infection. Already. Pwede ba nating sabihin na ang komplikasyon talaga na major ng dengue infection is bleeding? Uh, yes, although ang problema kasi, ang pagkakaiba kasi ng mild na dengue sa sinasabi nating uh, severe dengue, ay nagkakaroon ngayon yung ating maliliit na blood vessels nagiging marupok. Okay. Kaya yung yung fluid portion ng ating dugo, yung tinatawag na plasma ay naglilik. Okay. So ngayon, ang nagiging problema, hindi na effective yung circulating blood volume natin. You are okay. leaking plasma. Yeah. You're leaking the you're the plasma leaking the or the liquid portion of the blood, of the blood so, will go out of the blood vessel. So you also have so, hypotension. Yeah, because your problem now is volume, shock, yeah. ba? volume loss. Mm -hmm. So kung baga sa ano, uh, pwede silang magdugo anywhere in the body anywhere in and the body. then pwedeng bumagsak ang blood pressure oh, nila right. because of the, because of the leakage bleeding, of yes. the fluid papunta sa iba't ibang right. organ. I think so. That's how I understand it. Yeah. Diba? So may mga stages pa ba? Kinaklassify pa ba natin um, yan? Or before, meron yung old classification, yung tinatawag natin grade 1, 2, 3, and 4, di ba? But now, there's a newer classification, and they just simply classify this as acute febrile phase, di ba? This is the time when you have all the signs and symptoms, na fever, uh, rash, at saka yung mga iba-ibang symptoms, which you call constitutional signs and symptoms, ng flu-like symptoms. And then, later on, uh, usually, kasi yung fever, it can last two to seven days. Okay. Uh, yun yung time na when you go towards the uh, fourth to fifth uh, day na febrile pa siya, okay, nagiging more severe now yung mga signs and symptoms. And then later on, uh, pwede kang magkaroon ng rash, di ba? Yung mga rashes, which looks like uh, para siyang purplish or violaceous rash na para siyang uh, mayroon mga parang it's actually parang siyang isle of white, para siyang island na white oh, na among, among background, sea of red. Yeah, okay, yun ang, yun ang tinatawag na Isle of White in a Sea of Red. At saka nakikita mo siya, nakikita mo siya, but you cannot, hindi mo siya makapa. So it's flat. Oh, so it's flat. And one of the, usually kasi yung tinatawag natin na uh, uh, viral exanthems which presents with fever and rash kagaya ng for example measles ang pagkakaiba nito German diba? measles, German measles there's a characteristic uh, rash uh, diba? it appears ito in naman, the trunk first uh -oh, ito naman iba siya okay so early early uh, early stage of the disease it would be very difficult to differentiate whether this rash is secondary to your uh, dengue infection or secondary to other viral exanthems which presents with fever and rash. So it can be that uh, the rash appears on the 7th or 5th um, or 7th day? Not necessarily. It could appear as early as the first uh, day of fever. I see. Okay. That, that still belongs to the acute febrile phase. Acute febrile phase. Although this can persist until the recovery phase. Because after the acute febrile phase, ang sumusunod na ngayon is yung critical phase. Okay, this is the time na nawawala ngayon yung lagnat. But this is the most critical stage because what happens? Okay, pag bumaba ngayon yung uh, fever, there's uh, two things that you 
expect, okay? Either gagaling siya na tuloy-tuloy, you can proceed to the recovery phase, or ito yung time na bumabagsak ngayon yung platelet. Okay, yung plasma leakage na sinasabi ko is maximum already. Is maximum, okay? It Anything can happen. I see. So, uh, let us not be uh, misguided. So, you should not be misguided. Yes. Do not be very confident that when when the fever disappears, your, your anak, anak is already mo. safe. Oh. Kaya wag kang, for example, wag pag sinabing nasa, nasa ospital ka, at nawala ngayon yung lagnat, pag so, sinabi yung doktor na hindi pa pwede umuwi, huwag <laughs> mo ipilit. Wag munang ipilit. Kasi the first 48 hours are very critical. After the lysis of fever. Yeah, that's during the lysis okay. of the fever. Okay. Manang kasi pag based sa pinag-usapan natin, parang nakakalito siya eh. Na meron kang lagnat, na meron kang rash, na sometimes sabi mo nga, it's so difficult to differentiate from other types of mga viral infection. So how, we, how can we actually definitely confirm or it's diagnose dengue, na dengue right. talaga yung sakit na meron uh, ng isang pasyente. So, uh, aside from the history, for example, yung mga signs and symptoms presented, uh, we need the laboratory test. Okay? Simply, a complete blood count. Okay? So, what will you expect in this complete blood count? So, very, very popular yung platelet, bumababa. Diba? But initially, hindi yon ang presenting presenting uh, picture in ng complete blood count. Initially, you see that the white blood cell count, okay, what white blood cell count ay bumababa because actually this is a viral infection, okay. If this is a bacterial infection, it, it would be different. Leukocytosis. Okay, right? it would be different. Now, uh, remember when I told you a while ago about the plasma leakage, so. Ano ang relation ngayon nito sa blood picture? Okay. Because of that blood leakage, plasma leakage, I mean plasma leakage, the hematocrit o yung gaano ka thick yung blood, which you call the hematocrit. The cell okay? volume. The cell because your plasma volume will leak out from your, your uh, blood vessel. Tumataas ngayon yung iyong yeah. hematocrit. That, that explains why your hematocrit. Yeah. There's a discrepancy between the hematocrit and the blood volume. Blood volume. Uh, anong tawag? Yeah, yes. kasi medtech ka. Yes, yes. Uh, what is the normal platelet count? Uh, irregardless of the age, okay, it's 150,000 up to 400,000 or 450,000. Okay. So, although, uh, pag sinasabing, uh, if you see the complete blood count result shows that the platelet is 100,000, pwede pa rin yun, Kasi other viral infection can cause, cause uh, the decrease in, in platelet. platelet. However, pag bumaba pa yun until 50,000, then probably, uh, you warning of, na yun, you isipin mo that this dengue is already. dengue. Although, there are other tests which will uh, tell you that this is really uh, dengue. Is it confirmatory? Positive that, uh, or positive yeah. or negative. Um, pwede rin. It can help as long as you correlate it clinically. clinically because it is not 100% specific and sensitive test. Do we have a test that is specific for dengue, doctor? So your dengue duo is not specific? Uh, it has limitations. Yun nga sinasabi ko, it's not 100% uh, sensitive and uh, specific for because you can have cross reactions with other, other infection. Viral. But still, I would like to emphasize that still the clinical presentation of the patient the will, yeah, it's the most uh, important. So there must be a correlation between the laboratory examination and the appearance yeah, yeah. of so, the so patient. So it's actually very simple. So. High index of suspicion, suspicion. may lagnat yung pasyente, nagkakaroon ng rash, mga signs and symptoms. Season ng dengue. Ng trangkaso, season yeah. ng dengue. Tapos sa simple laboratory like CBC, yeah. CBC. and platelet count. Can so give you tumataas picture, yung right? hematocrit at bumababa yung platelet, platelet count. O ayan mga kaibigan, medyo nagiging seryoso ng ating usapan. Diyan lang po kayo at magbabalik ang cure, kaya wag maglilipat ng channel.